1916 Buffalo Nickel with Double Die Obverse. Graded as XF40 by PCGS. XF is a designation standing for extremely fine among circulated coins. According to Heritage Auctions, the date and the Indian's feathers show prominent dye doubling on this famous variety that has enjoyed a guide book listing for several decades since the late 1970s. In the complete guide to Buffalo Nickels, David Longy reports that the earliest published description of this variety appeared in the July 1962 issue of Numismatic Scrapbook Magazine. Few examples survived in high grades due to the passage of so much time from minting to publication, unlike other varieties, such as the 1955 double dye scent, that were discovered almost immediately. Number 3. 1969 S. Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. AU standing for about uncirculated. The 1969 S. Double Dye was discovered shortly after its release, yet today specimens remain highly elusive. The bold dye doubling in places is nearly as dramatic as that on its cousin, the 1955 Double Dye, an era coin that is nonetheless far more available. While the digits of the 1955 Double Dye are more widely separated, the letters near the rim of the 1969 S double die are separated by nearly a half letter width that in God we trust. The digits of the date and liberty are also widely doubled, although not in so extreme a fashion as the 1955 double die. This is an extremely attractive coin, with even, reddish-brown coloration on both sides. A tick at the top of Lincoln's hair and one on the beard are the only mentionable contact on the obverse. It ended up selling for $37,375. Number 2. 1930s Double Eagle. Graded as about good by PCGS. The 1930s is among the great melt rarities of the late St. Gaudens Double Eagle series. Roger Burdett ranks this issue as the third rarest in the entire series, with an extant population of only about 75 coins. This issue did not circulate, and the only examples surviving are those that were acquired directly from the mint cashier or were left over from the annual assay. The majority of the 74,000 pieces struck were melted in the 1930s. This rare specimen fetched a sum of $44,400. Number 1. 1943's Bronze Lincoln Scent. Famous wartime wrong Planchet error coins. The surfaces are a light medium tan, boasting excellent luster remaining throughout both sides despite a touch of circulation wear and some scattered detritus in the device crevices that actually serves to confirm this AU58 piece's original, unclean status. A diagonal, northwest to southeast, scraped through Lincoln's INs in the right obverse field. Obvious dye polishing lines run north-northeast through the right obverse field. Bits of dark material appear in the upper loops of the 9 and 3, in the lower loop of the S mint mark, and at the upper obverse rim above the motto. It was sold for $282,000. As we wrap up our journey through these super rare coins, remember that the world of numismatics is full of exciting discoveries. If you enjoyed this video and want more coin-related content, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow collectors, and don't forget to subscribe for more Cointastic adventures. God's willing, see you later.